Hi, I'm Lynn. And I'm Erica. And we're with AccuQuilt. We're here today to show you how to put together our retro Drunkard's Path quilt that we have hanging behind us. That's right. So we're going to show you how to put together uh, this block and then the Broken Dishes block as well. So I love Drunkard's Paths, and I know it's a very old quilt block, but where did Drunkard's Path come from? You know, from? there's a lot of different stories about it, Lynn, mm -hmm. and the best thing that I think probably it all comes back to the winding path, about the fact that uh, we're winding around and not going a straight line. So oh, okay. well, I, that's my best guess, but there are a lot of stories about how that name came around. Yeah, I've heard quite a few. So we're going to get started with, this is the four inch Drunkard's Path die. Right. And you can layer your fabrics when you're cutting this up to six layers, or you can fan fold. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to fan fold, there's a couple of things that you can do here. You can cut with a strip fabric, with a strips, uh, and you could do just this side with the pie shaped um, piece, or you could cut your uh, wedge shaped piece. Now you're just going to measure to cut your width of strips, you're just going to measure a quarter of an inch past on either side of your shape, or you could cut all of them at the same you time could. too and layer uh, your two fabrics if you're doing like more of a monochromatic or, or duotone right. uh, look that we've got here. So what we're going to do for today, we're going to uh, cut two layers and we've got these, they're on the lengthwise grain. You want to make sure it's very important with this uh, block. And then I forgot to mention something. This is a block on a board. Yes, so we have nicknamed it Bob. That's right, Bob. This is one of our Bobs. And then, so the next thing, we just put a cutting mat on top right. and roll it through. We're gonna roll it through. And don't be intimidated. This is a curve, like we said, um, but don't be intimidated by it because one of the great things about our dies is that they're going to cut with this notch on it so that you can, it, to help you line it up and sew that curve. Excellent. I'm going to fill, fill, sew the missing, the missing one there. Okay, did I give you and the right one? You can see the curves. The, the, on the white, it's a little harder to see, but you can see this one here. And even if you're not somebody who normally pins your pieces together when you're piecing, I definitely would recommend a couple of pins on this because it is a curve. Probably as you get going, you, you won't use as many. I like to have one at the beginning to get me started and one at the end and then that one in the middle on the notch. Right. I agree with you. It um, it really helps me keep that edge straight, and then I, I like that nice perfect curve mm -hmm. when I'm sewing those. And but it will go together really nicely for you. The trick is, don't forget, don't sew over your pins. That's right. So this isn't typically a beginner block, but with the notches and how quickly this cuts the curved shapes, uh, definitely an, an advanced beginner to an Absolutely. intermediate. Absolutely. Um, this is a great uh, block to to have in your die library. And it really is going to go together easily for you once you get a hold of it. I think you're going to find that you're just going to sit there and chain pieces together. A um, friend of mine, this is her favorite block and she is not a, from the beginning, from when she first started quilting. So um, don't be intimidated by the curves. I know you're not always a fan of curves, but I'm you not. put these together pretty quick, didn't you? That's right. I, I uh, tried this. It's it's very easy to do, and um, it just takes, you got to take a little bit more time. You want to make sure that you don't rush through it. Uh, one of the great things about Drunkard's Paths is that you can turn the um, all the different units and get totally different looks, and then with your fabric choices as well, lots of different right. options with this, making it traditional, modern, um, just scrappy. Uh, right, lots. anything anything you want to do. Okay, so I will, we're going to press towards the dark. And then you'll see how easily that's going to press out. And really, it goes quickly. And once you, the more you make, the more you'll get the hang of sewing those. Okay, so that looks great. It does. I'm going to go ahead and put those together. And because we've pressed to the dark, you can see we've got this seam heading this way, this one going this way. That's going to reduce our bulk, but it's also going to allow us to lock those seams in and get a perfect connecting point. And because that, I'm going to go ahead and put a pin there too um, to make sure that I keep those perfectly together. And I'm going to go ahead and put that together. Lynn, did you want to go ahead and get us started on our... Uh... Sure. We're going to cut the four inch half square triangles, and this is four inch finished, and to make the, uh, the broken dishes block. And I'm gonna make sure that with my P 
pieces of fabric that I'm going right sides together because if we go right sides together, then we can take our half squares right off of the die and go to the sewing machine with them. That's a great time saving tip. Okay, grab my mat. And again, with um, the half square triangle, you want to make sure that your fabric is on the lengthwise grain as it's running under the roller. I'm going to hit that really quick so you can see that wonderful matching point on that. Okay, so there we go. We've got that drunkard's path block put together. Okay, Do we have our right sides together. Absolutely. Okay. The broken dishes is another very traditional pattern. So with the, uh, with the Drunkard's Path finishing, the units finish at four inches, the block finishes at eight inches. So that means that you can uh, mix and match this block with any other blocks that finish at four inches. It's great for your mix and match sets, your eight inches, your 12 inches. And uh, again, lots of different possibilities lots there. Lots of options there. It's been, become a very, very popular block. And you can see then that because of those dog ears, we're just going to press that out and be ready to go. We don't have to trim any of those little corners. Love that. And it fit together Great. perfectly. Okay. And then we'll so, see, show you how that last piece would fit in there as well. So looks wonderful. It does. Your next step would be that you're going to, you'd put your rows together mm -hmm. and end up with your finished blocks. And then you'd start to put your blocks together to finish your rows. Right. Right. This pattern will be available on AccuQuilt.com. You can download it there, and it's also inside of the package. And while you're on our, our website, be sure to check our blog for more tips and ideas and projects. Also, you can find more information on our Facebook page. You can find us on Pinterest, on Instagram, and on Twitter, too. That's right. Every quilter knows that. Better cuts. Make better quilts.